Hi everyone out there, my name is Icon Ebony Fierce and I'm a drag performer and I like to be fierce, meow. I try, I try, y'all. Today, I will be talking about my favorite, favorite pastime, a staple in a drag. That is wigs, that is the helmet, that is the crown, that is the ending piece of your whole outfit. Yes, honey, I'm talking about wigs, 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 the wiggetry of it all, honey. I will be talking about different wigs in pop culture, in more particular, music videos, movies, TV shows, and beyond, based on moods, yes. My kind of wigs are the wigs that I will describe as being a mood. Like, I feel like a, you know, going to the supermarket wig to me. Or I feel like a, you know, going to the cookout and having a cooler or a bottle of Alize wig today, honey, with the bob, with the little swoop, the little curl, a little that was a terrible top pop. Alright, I'm not doing that anymore. But anyway, let's get started. My number one wig mood would have to be BING! Yes, 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 honey. That is the Sassy Mama wig, honey. Worn by Jackie Harry from Sister Sister. You know what kind of wig this is. This is the kind of wig where you know for sure if she answers the door, you know that you're gonna hear a high pitch piercing laugh that's gonna deafen your ears before you go into the kitchen table and you eat yourself some fried chicken, some macaroni and cheese, some yam, some um, potato salad, and beyond. I'm getting hungry. Um, shout out to you, Jackie Harry. You go, girl. And no, I'm not talking about Kim Whitley. Trust and believe, they are two different people. I like Kim Whitley's me too, but honey, Jackie Harry, she's the MVP, honey. Her wig should win a Lifetime Achievement Award. She's been wearing the same wig ever since 1994, and I could not be even prouder to have her be my top spot for a wig. Okay, I know that's right. Wig number two. Bam! This is the homegirl wig, honey. This is the wig that you will pop on to go to the corner store and get yourself some hot chips, a hug, you don't know what a hug is, figure it out. I don't know what to tell you. You don't know what you're missing. But yes, this is the wig that you will sit on your front porch, drinking a 40, you know, rolling a doobie with your girlfriends, honey. That little bob, that little, that little pop, honey. A little swoop, a little swivel. I know that's right. Yes, this is the, you know, chill on the porch wig. You and your homegirls, worn by the one and the only Mary J. Blige. Yes, you better go, honey. Yes. Mary J. is another person that should have a lifetime achievement award for her wigs, honey, because she just changed her wigs every every three hours. I don't know how she does it. I don't know if she has some sort of magic, magical wig person that she got from um, 124th Street in Harlem, honey, but. Whatever you do, honey, keep it going, because we love you, Mary J. My next wig mood is... Bam! The office wig, honey. This is the office wig where you know that you are about your business. You are a professional, honey. You got that nice, deep, brown, you know, chocolate contour, and you got the nice little brown chocolate wig, honey. You got a little Funky eye. Something sensible. Something not too much. And this wig is worn by the one of the only Whitney Houston. Yes, you know. That little um, I'm, I'm doing this like it's supposed to be something. What is that? I want to say swivel. Okay. It's a swivel. It's a swoop. It's a curl. It's a little mullet, you know, a little mullet moment, you know, a little bit of, you know, wave. Honey, 
that's the kind of wig where you know your cousin means business. That's your bougie cousin. That has nothing to do with your family. It's up for Christmas and it's up for birthdays. When she comes home and she acts like she's better than you because she, you know that she gets way better gifts to your mom. You know that person. Everybody can be asking. Honey, don't drink no alizé around her, honey. She's about to stop, okay? Get into her. My next wig mood is Listen, if you don't know anything about this girl, I don't know what to tell you. This girl is the playful girl, you know. She's a little, she, she's, she's a little too smart for her own good, okay? Sometimes she's a little sassy in the mouth. She's spunky, she's cool, she's free. This is the playground wig, honey. Yes, 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 this is the playground wig. Worn by the one of the only Raven Simone, honey. It's the future you can see, honey. And in the future, I know that this wig represents a girl that sneaks out of the house and always get her ass in trouble because she does not have any respect for her parents, honey. But she's wild, she's funky. She likes to, you know, be a little rebellious. Does like wild and crazy things like sneak out of school and go to the mall or kiss boys or, you know, try cigarettes. All the major, major, major dangerous things, you know. Living life on the edge, honey. We love you, Raven Simone, and honey, I need that one. Last but not least, last but not least, and you know I have to bring her out. You know, I could not have a wig movie video if I didn't bring this one out. She is the master, the creator, the number one of them all. And I will have to say, bam, private dancer. Yes, honey, she's a private dancer, dancing for money. I don't sing either. I don't do impersonations, I don't sing. It, it, it. I'm telling you this is not the video for you if you want that shit. Am I allowed to curse? Oh, you can learn that out. <laughs> but yes, honey, this is the woman from 1984 that you know she struts down the street wearing her little leather skirt, her, you know, denim jacket, you know, she got a little cleavage, you know, showing a little bit of titty, you know, just, you know, just 20% of the titty, okay? Not 25, that would be a little bit too much, but like 20% of the titty. And you know she's about business. You know she got a knife in her purse. She got a mace. And she also got a fist. Also she got that red lipstick from Revlon, honey. And she got the red nails and she's ready to hit the bar. She's ready to climb up on top of pool tables. And she's gonna go home with that one guy named Jerome in the back of a motorcycle. Yes, honey. That is a wig that will always be my mood. Thank you, Tina Turner. I hope you're having fun out there in Switzerland, and I have to congratulate you for wearing the same wig ever since 1984, and we love you for that, forever and always. Thank you. Simply the best. Better than all the rest. And that's it, everyone. Thank you for watching the birdie vids here on YouTube and beyond. I will be coming back every so often to talk about more of my favorite wig moods. And I love them all, I love them all, honey. What is your wig mood? Tell me your wig mood down in the comments below, y'all. And if you want me to, you know, feature a certain performer, or if you want me to feature your wig, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much, and do not forget to subscribe to Bird Events here on YouTube, and to check out all quality drag content and beyond, make sure you go to our website, that is birdevents.com, that is B-U-R-D-E-V-E-N-T-S.com for more shows, for more content, and more wigs. Thank you, y'all.